Tens of thousands of students all across Miami-Dade County beginning their first day of school. It was a busy day for parents, teachers, and other school employees. And school officials always have high expectations, of course, and they really hope this is a great start. Everybody getting ready. And we have team coverage on the first day back. Local 10's Trent Kelly is live in Miami with more. Trent. Yeah, Christy, Janice, let's be real here. This was the day many students were dreading. Parents, on the other hand, I'm sure they were all looking forward to it. You have more than 300,000 kids, all of them returning to the classroom today here in Miami-Dade County. And as he does each and every year, the superintendent was out early as well, visiting about 10 different schools just to make sure everything went according to plan. Good morning. Nearly 350,000 kids all returning to class in Miami-Dade County today. First day beginning well before sunrise at the district's main transportation hub in northwest Miami-Dade, where drivers completed their last-minute checks on the district's fleet of nearly 1,000 buses. We have to also check our tire pressures, make sure that we don't have no nails and no flats or anything of that nature. Have a great school year, okay? Thank you. The superintendent starting his day there as well, handing out free snacks and coffee to drivers while also delivering this message to parents. Meet us in the middle. Teach. Your children speak with them about respect, responsibility, and restrained living. Each bus now equipped with a new alarm system requiring every driver to walk the length of the bus before leaving, ensuring no child is accidentally left on board. Let's do it! After leaving the bus lot, district officials then hopped aboard, taking a ride to Goldman Senior High in Miami Lakes. And I see you already have your first writing journals. From there, it was on to Louverture Elementary in Little Haiti as cafeteria workers were busy making lunch. Students got a big welcome back from some big name heat players. Being able to give back and, and tell these kids and let them know like, oh, uh, make sure to be excited because uh, it goes by real fast. Yeah, clearly a very busy day, and it's not even over yet. The district today also touting the addition of some 130 new programs at various schools across the county. We're talking about new classes uh, that will teach things like coding, visual arts, even a new music class at some of these schools. The superintendent, by the way, he will be wrapping up his day in downtown Miami, visiting the district's iPrep Academy, the same school where he also happens to serve as principal. That's the very latest from Miami today. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.